Okay, I think I'm filming now. Yeah, I am. So, Phyllis, um, can you offer up a memory of either your mother or father? Okay, I remember when Dad just uh, go to Reno all the time, and, and he would win, and when he got back, he'd say, um, would I, you, I know, you prayed that I would not get win. <laughs> he was accused, accused Elma of praying. <laughs> but it wouldn't stop him from going again, right? No. <laughs> he all the time. And then when he won the money, oh boy, she loved that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. It's like dump or some sort of dice. It was dice. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Dice. I'll, I'll tell that one. Yeah, go ahead tell that one. Oh, he's all there. He's all there. you're in the bad light. Bad light? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta hear this. Okay. Oh, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to repeat the story about. As a matter of fact, would you would you describe? Start by telling us who's in the picture, because I'm going to then add in a picture of the picture, and and then tell me a little bit about um, what you were talking about earlier over there. About the motorcycle? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like you know, he's dirty, right? You. Yeah, he, oh man. He probably has like a tattoo of, of an anchor right here. No, he, he, just, he, didn't, he didn't have a tattoo, but he had a nasty scar right here. We got the knife fight, we got stabbed with a knife right there. Really? Oh man. Wow. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, he was a scrapper. Oh, he was a what? Scrapper. Oh. We're married, just married in that picture, huh? This was a wedding day. Wedding day? Really? That picture's the wedding day? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, that one's yours? Really? Yeah. I've never seen this. Oh, you had to get stuck. The other kids. Yeah, like that. I've never seen that. You can see your dad in the picture right there. Yeah. Well, I remember some, but you know, he was fairly young when he died. He was never as comfortable around you. So it wasn't like he specifically talked to you or played with you. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he used to tease you with his teeth. Yeah. Oh. Old men always like. Yeah, I was going to say, my dad does that to anybody. Yeah. My mother goes, I'll tell you, take your teeth out this time, I will whoop you when they leave. Oh, she hates that. And those kids love that. Do it again, do it again. Oh, all you know? the little kids like yeah. that. Yeah, but they'd like to click his teeth at the case. And he was always going to those auction things, you know? And he'd, he'd buy this box of junk and bring it home. And he'd be so delighted if he found a toy of some sort in there. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not supposed to be. Oh, he doesn't know how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've asked each of um, the three immediate descendants to offer up a quick memory of their parents. What do you remember about your parents? Uh, well, I, lots of lots of memories. I remember my dad as being quite the fisherman. He was an avid fisherman. He. Uh, uh, if he didn't catch a limited fish in half a day, it was a bad day. But I used to love to go with him. I loved to get out. And to me, it didn't matter. I had a good time whether we caught fish or not. But if, to my dad, if we didn't catch fish, it was a bad day. <laughs> oh, my God. So he was trying to feed the family. Daryl was just going to go Now, see, Joel didn't like to go. He loved to go fishing, and I think... Uh, his genes are in my blood. <laughs> my dad was quite a prankster too, especially in his younger days. I, when I was pretty young, uh, just a little tyke, I remember him. He loved. He ran a service station, and he loved to pull pranks on, especially this uh, bread man, bread delivery man, because he was real goosey, and he did things like. He'd put a spider on a string, and when the guy would come in with an armload of bread, he'd lower the spider down in front of him, and the guy would throw the bread all over the <laughs> store. <laughs> and another thing he did, too, was he buried a, a, a truck air horn out by the front door. And when the guy goes out the door, this horn blasts, and he thinks something's running over him. <laughs> and he went crazy. <laughs>
And of course, my dad just really got a kick out of it. <laughs> so tell me about fork and a biscuit. Well, he would uh, have biscuits on the table there, so he'd take his fork and throw it in the biscuit, and then he'd say, "Hand me my fork back." <laughs> 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 and that's the story of the fork and the biscuit. <laughs> he was a painter and he worked on the bridges and up there above Lake, above Orville, going to Featherby Canyon. Uh -huh. they, was, they had a lot of suspension bridges up here. So anyway, they were painting them and so he had to harness thing and he swung down underneath the bridge to paint and he sprayed it, you know spraying? He sprayed paint on and got it. When he came out from under there, well he swung, he got paint all over, red paint on his face and everything. When he swung out up on top of the bridge, he swung up there, well, there happened to be a lady driving by. She looked up there and he saw it, she looked scared, so he goes, boo! And she just floored that car and took off. <laughs> scared of daylight, she thought the devil was getting her. You know? <laughs> Oh my god! I pictured all of that! Is this at the Fedway Canyon? Now, Mark, tell about the, the tax. Oh, I didn't tell that. No, no, but tell. Tell me! Okay. <laughs> well, he'd go to a store, a hardware store, and he'd buy nails, screws, and bolts, and things. And so they were adding it up, and they were saying that uh, the tax, are, I mean, the bolts are this much, and, you know, the nails are this much, it said, and, that, and that'll be so much for the tax. He's, wait a minute, I didn't buy any tax. <laughs> and he said, no, 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 you understand, it's, you owe the tax. No, I don't owe any tax, I didn't buy any tax, I'm not paying for those taxes. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> he got that from his dad, though. Hey, dad, his dad was a prankster like that. Oh, really? Uh, I was with him one time oh, yeah. when we, were, we ordered a piece of pie. Oh, yeah. He brought the pie out and he ate the pie, and the waitress came over and says, how was your pie? He says, well, it's kind of musty. Oh, that was fresh. We just baked it this morning. I'm sorry, it was musty. She says, oh, he says, I must have some more. <laughs> <laughs> that was your father. That or was my father's yeah, dad. Oh, oh, oh your yeah. grandfather. Yeah, okay, about the apple juice in the hospital. I, I'm trying to remember how that exactly went. I know that when he was in the hospital, well, they brought him a uh, glass of apple juice to drink, you know. And so anyway, he didn't drink it, I think, you know, and he just left sitting there. I think it's the way it worked. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. But anyway, then they came in, they brought a bedpan, I think, for him to go to the bathroom, you know. <laughs> but anyway, they came in to get his bedpan. They and, wanted a urine sample. No, yeah, they wanted a urine sample. sample. Yeah. So they came to get that, and uh, he, he grabbed that glass for the urine sample. He grabbed that. And it was really an apple juice. I think that's what it was. He yeah. put the apple juice in. He put the apple juice in. I think. Like, anyway, whenever oh. she came to get it, he says, "Oh, here, let me restrain that." And he drinks that again. You know? And the nurse goes, "No, no, no!" <laughs> 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 He was standing there, like a really little picture that whole thing was this was kind of slimy. Like, Grandpa, what's that slimy stuff? He says, oh, that's snot. And I go, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not. <laughs> and as a little kid, I, I believe yeah. it. And I dropped it back in the back. <laughs> oh my God. I like that. <laughs> He just, <laughs> he shot from the hip, huh? <laughs> I remember I got him one time that was at, was at Anderson's and was eating tacos. And uh, they had, uh, he, he dropped his napkin on the floor. Something, he had a jar of Tabasco sauce sitting there. He dropped, he dropped his napkin on the floor and he reached down to pick it up. I grabbed the taco, the taco, hot taco sauce, Tabasco sauce. I go like this on there. He turns around, he takes one more bite of that. And man, he was screaming out. <laughs> and he grabbed his cup of coffee. Well, hot coffee made it work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've been there, that's why I know what it feels like. <laughs> when he would pass, you know, the food, you'd ask.
ask him, you know, to pass the meat or whatever. And and he would start to pass it to you, and you'd start to take it, and he'd drop yeah, it like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> make you feel like you're going to drop it all. Yeah, just let it drop. <laughs> oh, God. At dinner time, too, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. The grocery store up there. Remember, we had pet skunk. Well, you got a what? That was David Crockett. Yeah, David Crockett. Yeah, David Crockett. Yeah, David Crockett. Yeah, David Crockett. Yeah. 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 But it been it been fixed. Oh, yeah. in what manner? From breeding or from smelling? Yeah, that scared people. Huh? That sure scared people. They didn't know it's fixed. <laughs> well, I mean, well, it was fixed in what manner, though? From, I think you from... boxed it up, took it up to the grocery store there on the corner. Well, so that was corner. Wiley's skunk. Yeah, Wiley's skunk. Oh, I thought we had one. <laughs> We had a pet house. skunk. Why did I do pet skunk? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Maybe we had one too. Maybe we did. Yeah. Yeah. And it <laughs> maybe it <laughs> wasn't fixed. Maybe <laughs> 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 well, we took it up to the okay, it was a uh, fixed cashier skunk. there of the store, you know, the little grocery store in the corner there. I think Robinson's, it was Robinson's Market. Market. Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, it, and you had it in this box and you asked her Ooh, if she could. Uh, Take it or something. I forgot what it was. You ask anyway. Anyway, she opened that thing up. <gasps> Get that thing out of here! <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably. Not here. I'm, I'm yeah. sure I was with you. We, we did. We did. We had a pet skunk. <laughs> I had a. <laughs> How'd you keep it from spraying? I might have told you this story before, but whenever I was working at Couriers, oh, when I was working at Couriers at Carroll, well, my boss was. He had an old 44 foot car that he drove to work every day, and it was chug a lug, chug a lug. You know, he kept saying, "This car going to blow up him someday." So I thought, well, I got an idea. So I went to the, into the store and I bought one of these bombs that you put on the car. You wire it to the number one spark plug wire. I put that on there and he goes out there just at 6 o'clock when everybody, the place was packed, the parking lot was. I was hiding. I got off the road. I was hiding back there. He came out and he got already hit the starter on that car. That thing went screaming and whistling and smoke and blowing up, you know. He jumped out of that car and he started yeah. running, you know. And then he saw everybody laughing at him. That kind of made him mad. So anyway, he finally, I apologized, took the bomb off. But he didn't know it man. when he got back in the car. I said, okay, I'll see you later. He gets back in the car and he moves about this far and he runs over. He already had tape to the wheel. Where it would boom! Blow it like blow out, you know. And that jerk guy, he come a flying out of there again, you know. He wouldn't get back in and say, what else did you do to it? <laughs> Oh, I was going to tell the yeah. apple didn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> yeah, so one, of our, one of our meat wrappers oh, was on her car. <laughs> she took off across the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Called the fire department. I couldn't even catch her. She was hit her that phone. She got the phone to call the fire department. And finally, she says, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Well, if someone's missing, they'll go ask. Okay, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, those are simpler times, huh? <laughs> then, then there's the one about the... Uh, <laughs> Uh -oh, uh -oh. Hey, I got him on a roll now. Uh -huh. oh, I want to hear him. Hey, <laughs> come on, I'm good. Hey. I went in the girls' bathroom and I took, raised the toilet seat. I love it. Stretched it. Fly film. We have them for wrap meat in. I stretched it down over the lid, over the toilet. I put the lid back down. There. One of the girls came in there to go to the bathroom. The one, Scream like, bloody murder! <laughs> <laughs> she come out of there. She was so mad. <laughs> I, I heard that one done somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we actually did it to one of the pastors. <laughs> Go. When she says to wait, he does not listen. Dad had a stick shift car. And, uh, oh, no, I was kept wanting Mom to go over and drive She couldn't drive at all. So he finally talked her into getting in the car, take off. And she took off, and she didn't know how to control that clutch. So she just left the clutch out like that, and the car goes to work. So down the road like this, just went crazy. And she, Dad kept yelling, do something. She just kept going down the road like this. <laughs> Yeah. Finally, he finally yeah. made her tell her to stop. Girl, don't let her make the call. That's the only time she tried driving. She wouldn't do it again after that. So, Dad, all right. So, I now remember the first time that you took me out to learn to drive. Remember that souped up Mustang that you had to cut out so you could get the big old engine in there? You dropped that big old engine in there and you took it and parked it on a hill? <laughs> Yeah, you think? <laughs> just, uh, just give me a good lesson. <laughs> yeah. So I started crying and said, Daddy, I can't do it. You're going to have to drive. <laughs> you remember Devil's Dip with that car? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You turned the lights off when we hit the bottom. Yeah. I took... Uh, 
uh, Healy's sister over in that car, in that, in that Mustang, I took him over there. He was, couldn't speak English, he was from Germany. This is uh, Art's sister-in-law from Germany. Anyway, I took her over that dip, Devil's Dip up there in that room. We, I, she didn't know where we went. I just took her by riding the Mustang. She wanted to ride in. It was a hot little hot Mustang. Car. I took her by riding the Mustang. I went to get and I started down and I goosed it when I started down. And it was really goose like that, you know, when you come up, you know. Just just your stomach just like, remember Phyllis when she was a kid. That scared my stomach, you know. <laughs> but anyway, that really scared your stomach when you come up. Anyway, she just came unglued when I did that, you know. Started yelling, cussing me out and yelling. <laughs> 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 yelling, you know, like, <laughs> I can share a devil's dip story now that Derek's 18 and I don't have to worry about CPS anymore. I'll go get it. <laughs> hey, Derek, we're um, dad of my dad. It's a video. Um, my dad just told a devil's dip story. Oh. And I said, now that you're 18 and I don't have to worry about CPS, that's Child Protective Services. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I had a double dip story to tell, too. Okay, okay. So would you go out and tell it? What's the yeah. story? What is it? Tell come on. Come, well, on. come on. Come well, on. Come on. Let me, me pre-tell first. Get my five, step okay, five, okay, second, okay, okay. five second version. Okay. Sure, five second version. Um, well, don't record me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. um, okay. So I... Uh, I, I like longboarding, you know, I have this really big nice. monster longboard, mm -hmm. and uh, you know where Devil's Dip is in Orville? No. Anybody no, been? No. Nobody, nobody, yeah. nobody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure how... Maybe what exactly you know, is that? It's, 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 it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was filming! Yes. Excuse me. Oh you did say it's a video camera, right? Notorious dip, dip. You know, in the road, like, okay. it was like you know, pretty big downhill slope. Okay. A dip. And uh, we were driving along, and I had my longboard. I was like, hey, why don't, I'll just give this a try. You mm -hmm. know, I'll try longboard down the hill. Never tried it before. Okay. Hopped on, and um, <laughs> without thinking a whole lot, just sort of started riding it. Yeah. And it was like, I was I was going so fast, the board was like shaking. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was pretty much it was pretty yeah. much at the point where if yeah. I hit a small rock. I would have just you know, this you know, dip was so extreme. This dip was so extreme. This is what we used to do for family fun: is we'd go out for ice cream, and my dad would go to the top of the hill, and he'd just floor it. And when he got to, when he started hitting the bottom, he'd turn off the lights, and we all sort of hit the bottom and come up. That's the kind of hill this is. Yeah. And Derek rode that you thing down on a longboard. Long no helmet, no knee pads, no fall? nothing. No. I was on it's the. Not like <laughs> I was 12 so what happened on a you... $1.4 million dollar plane. Uh, okay. What? He bought a $1.4 million dollar plane on eBay when, when he was, I was 12. 12. Oh yeah, we got to read too. He bought, he bought he a plane. He went on eBay and bought a Come join. He pushed. You're still on the outside. <laughs> Buy it now is what he pushed. Buy it now. <laughs> yeah. I want the plane. How did that work out So this is it's really so guy called. And he's like, oh, so, so what do you mean? Because it was a plane yeah. for Israel. It was a plane for Israel. Yeah, so, uh, and my dad answers, and he's like, no, I didn't buy no, a plane no, for you. No, no. All right, this is what happened. So, me and my friend Cody were sitting at my dad's computer. We were just They're bored 12, as hell. We were 12, 12 13, years old. whatever, like that, right? So we decided to go on eBay, look at the cars. You just look around on eBay, right? We decided to make an account. Stupidly put all of my real information, uh -huh. except... Something Put my maybe. friend's phone number first. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. As the primary phone number. Randomly, after I hit the bite now, bought the plane, put a bid on a, uh, like... Couple cars. A, a Ducati, a Mustang, and a Beamer. Uh -huh. Bought the plane, <laughs> left. <laughs> a couple hours Whatever. later, I was over at my friend's house. His sister answers the phone. She comes outside and goes, Chris, there's somebody on the phone for you. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello? Ah, yeah, congratulations, you just bought this Dude, I'm 12. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no joke, five minutes later, my mom comes screeching around the corner as fast as she can, and she just comes to a halt right in front of my friend's girl. Just lowers the window and just yells at me, Get in the car! <laughs> Alright, go home. My dad's just yelling at me. Yeah, so I bought a $1.4 million plane with making up a fake credit card number that actually worked. 
Really? What? <laughs> it went really? That's really disturbing. Yeah, but you just, just made up numbers. Made up yeah, like and then it can't be so viable. It was the right number of digits and everything. I mean, it's it a viable. Wow. No, yeah. Even back, no, see, I had a, I had a debit card or a credit card, whatever it was, and I looked at the numbers and I was like, oh, that's how many numbers you need to have. 16 numbers. You just put that in. <laughs> just a bunch of random numbers. A bunch of random numbers. I was like, boop, 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 boop. 16 numbers and it worked. <laughs> Made up a credit card number and bought a plan on the I'm number. taking you shopping. <laughs> 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 See. Oh, Doyle was going to tell oh, something. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so and um, he's in there having a good time. Oh, okay. I got it on film, though, I'll, so I'll tell okay. it later, yeah. just off camera. See, this, this is when we went, uh, whenever we were getting small, he had a little Honda Honda 50 motorcycle, and I put a straight pipe on it, and it really sounded nasty, you know. Well, anyway, he'd ride it all between our house and in Grandma's house, back and forth across there. And uh, so anyway, he went to work. Uh, her, her mom was gone to work one day, so Galen was riding the bike. And um, did I tape or did you, help, did you tape it? Did you tape it? I saw we set it up to record. I think you set it up to record or something. But anyway, what happened was uh, as he was riding the motorcycle, well, anyway, oh, I know what happened now. I'm sorry. What happened was we, we were. I was taping him riding his motorcycle, the noise, and bass and back across, you know. Well, it just so happened that <clears throat> right where he stopped, well, this bullet, he had taped this bullet movie. Like the night before, we were at the drive in theater. Yeah, at the drive in theater, he taped this bullet movie. And uh, right at the end of the movie, in the, I mean, not the movie, but right in that one scene, when the crash scene, the, the Mustang kind of sliding up there and went and crashed. Maybe it was the other car that crashed. It might not have been bullet. It was the other. But anyway, it just was a terrible crash noise. When you hear the car rolling or something, you know, but anyway, so it turned out real funny. Like when we was playing it back, we said, hey, that sounded funny. So he went and got a arm sling to put on his arm, oh, it took, his, took his motorcycle and laid it out there in the dirt. <laughs> and he, he got, came back here with that thing on his arm, you know, and he came back when his mom got home. He says, mom, come here, look what happened. She got out there and she saw that bike laying there and she saw his arm and sling. She turned around to me and she just let me have it. You know, I told you I didn't like well, him we, on that motorcycle. We, we played the tape for her first. Huh? We played the tape for her. Oh yeah, well, yeah, that's right. We played the tape. He says, "Here, listen to this tape, you know." And then uh, and this is what happened, you know. So anyway, oh, he played. This is what happened. She could hear that. She could hear that bullet scene, you know, and crashing. And she got jumped all over me. She says, I told you I didn't like him riding that motorcycle. And he's gonna get <laughs> <laughs> she took the keys away. Took the key away. Yeah, took the key away. Yeah. I think that does go their way. No, especially when you don't know the family that's done the keys. When you don't know anyone. Well, you're not sure you want to know the family then. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in fairness, I said I'm glad you don't leave, and he said, "Well, I thought you were really late too, so it's okay." It was kind of one of the awkward things. So we all thought it was mutual. Oh what? Oh wow. Oh hold on. Well, actually, you can't even see him. One. Seriously, that is a two, three. I feel pretty, oh so pretty, I feel pretty and happy and gay! <laughs> 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 Sorry, she doesn't even know. Like brain damage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're just jealous and crazy. You would have to do it and not you. Have some freak of loot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Really good> meat. <laughs> <laughs> What was that, Jennifer? <laughs> I totally used to do that when I laughed. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that. I guess I don't laugh as hard as I do. I don't do that at all. That wasn't her. That wasn't me. She was being a puppet. That was Dylan. That was Dylan. That was Dylan. I know what a ventriloquist is. I've never seen my dad do ventriloquist. Well, he does. You don't ever see a ventriloquist when he's good. Just like the barking spiders. <laughs> that was just a cover for his spark. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God